is up all my beautiful legends i hope you guys are having a great week and happy wednesday i know this was supposed to be the continuation of my story time with Durs, but after work today i came home took a nap and uh i passed out for a few hours after running some errands and stuff and woke up and it's now almost 10 30 11 o'clock so i do not have time to put together edit and upload that series it normally takes all day so you're gonna get a wednesday unboxing so we're gonna keep this as quick as possible so i can get, wrap this up get it edited and get it up for you guys again apologies so i'm gonna have another video thursday then we got my friday positivity friday and then uh saturdays are always a random video if it's going to be uploaded and then sundays are my live stream so like i said i'll make it up to you guys but this i won i think it was last month's brian lcs Leave the links down in the description for everything for his channel. Uh, we, I'm a member. He has a membership program called The Family. So make sure you guys go check him out. He does a Breakfast with Brian. He does uh, Spider-Man reviews, unboxings. He just did a CGC slab submission unboxing. But I actually won his membership giveaway. So this is a big, fat stack of books. So I already had it pre-cut and stuff. So great packaging. And uh, one of the prizes was actually Need from Gary B, his own uh, book that he just recently wrote. And I uh, had him send that to Cat Fan. So uh, I think this is just a note. It says, uh, Adam, congrats on your duck race win. That's right, I normally uh, finish second. So uh, here's a stack of books for you. Stay legendary. Right back at you, man. He included some stickers. So we'll just start from the top and uh, we'll just dig in. So we got Avengers X-Men Eternals Judgment Day. This is Axe number one. I actually, what is this, the variant edition? I actually read the series when I first started getting back into comics. This was one of the series I put together and uh, read. It was okay, but it uh, wasn't for me. I'm not a big X-Men guy, but wanted to try something new getting back into comics. Nice, this is a dope cover with Tombstone ripping it. This is that Trick or Treat Amazing Spider-Man. Here, let me turn this box a little bit. There we go. This is that Trick or Treat Free Spider-Man edition. So that's another dope cover right there with Tombstone ripping Spider-Man's mask in half. Nice. And then uh, this is the, uh, I think this is Pac Leeson or uh, JR, JR, I'm not sure uh, who did this cover, but it's dope. It's kind of like a almost shattered glass, but this is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 34. I'm not sure which issue it's on now. I jumped off about a year ago towards the middle of last year. I stopped reading Amazing Spider-Man, but it's always nice to collect. Oh, this is cool. DC Crime Syndicate. I don't have any of these. And then let me know down in the comments if these are keys or anything like that. Because some of these I might not be familiar with. So I always love learning about new things. But uh, right here, a nice Crime Syndicate cover. That's one of six. Welcome to Earth 3. So that's a dope, nice little cover I don't have. It's a big stack of books. Oh, cool. Batman Fortnite, zero point, issue number five. And I think this is still polybag and they got codes in them. But this is dope. That's a nice little keeper. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a big gamer, and uh, I actually played Fortnite since it originally came out, and I stopped playing about like two years ago, and then I got back into it for the OG run, but uh, last time I checked, I was up close to like 4,000 wins, but yeah, I used to go pretty hard in Fortnite. So, oh, dope. This one's nice. I like this. I like the nice little uh, Mylar bag it's in, too. So this is uh, IDW Star Wars The High Republic Adventures number one. I'm a big Star Wars fan, but I don't read or collect anything Star Wars when it comes to comics, but when I do get them in giveaways or AOKs or mystery boxes or whatever, I'll keep them because like I said, I don't go out and chase them, but I like to have Star Wars books because I am a Star Wars fan, but there's so much Star Wars to read, so I don't touch it. So let's get to this next one. Oh, nice. Like I said, I'm not a big X-Men guy, but this, uh, this cover's dope. This is X Lives of Wolverine. Uh, let's see, I think this is Exo Swords tie-in or something. Not sure, but that's a cool cover. I like that uh, that uh, kind of old school Logan, and then it's almost kind of like a video game vibe on there with a mega red. So I dig that cover. Not sure about the story though, so we'll keep going through. Another way of X. So some of these X-Men books, I'm gonna be paying it back forward in the community uh, in my personal giveaway books or going off to some other people that like X-Men. But like I said, a few of these I'm definitely keeping, but uh, that one's cool with the Nightcrawler on there. Nothing bad about X-Men, I just don't personally collect them. Oh, this is dope, I'll collect this. Uh, same thing, I'm a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, as you can see by some of the prints behind me, but I don't actively buy their comics or go after any of their comics, but when I do get them in giveaways or stuff like that, I do keep them. So this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Armageddon Game, the Alliance issue number one. 
So that will definitely be a keeper because like I said, I just put them together when I get them. So again, boom, back to the Star Wars High Republic. This is issue number four. So same thing, like I said, I know some of these are keys, but uh, either way, uh, as I mentioned before, if I get Star Wars books in a box, I will keep them. Oh, dope. This is actually uh, one of the trades that I've wanted to uh, buy recently. So, uh, but this is cool, this is issue number two. This is a uh, vault from a uh, vault comics, Axe to Grind Barbaric. I know Mike the Spider, Spider Slayer from Comic Book Corner 2.0, he was reading this. So uh, definitely a keeper, something I wanted to check out personally as well. Oh, dope, I like this. This is a uh, um, HBO Max cover, Zack Snyder's The Justice League. This is Justice League number 59, but uh, it's the movie poster cover. I like that. I'm a big fan of the Snyder Cut when it comes to Justice League. I'm a big uh, Zack Snyder fan. Here we go, 2099 Life. I know that's a key, first appearance of Hulk, 2099. So uh, I have a copy, but it's kind of got a couple uh, little dings in the corner. So uh, yeah, that looks like an upgraded copy. So I'm gonna keep that one and then move the other one to my giveaway bin. So always love to do that. And here's another uh, Wolverine cover. I'm not sure who did this, but this is Return of the Wolverine. But again, another dope cover. So I'll hold on to that one. Uh, if it's any w books for X-Men, if it's Wolverine or Gambit, those are the ones I normally keep. Cause like I said, uh, those are my two favorite X-Men. <laughs> So nice little trick or treat, uh, Scott Snyder presents Dark Spaces. I actually read a couple issues of that, but I didn't get the trick or treat, so that's nice to have there. Like I said, just trying to go a little quicker. There's a lot of books here, so shout out to Brian, man. Definitely appreciate you, brother. And uh, it's late, so I just wanna get to bed. But this is another cool cover. I'm not sure, like I said, let me know. Trial Magneto, this is issue number five. So we have that one, and there's a few more left. And then we have Marvel Runaways. I haven't uh, read anything from them, not familiar with the team, but I do know of the Runaways, but nice little cover. <laughs> so again, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, this one is one I am keeping. Uh, let's see, this is, uh, I think this is, a, yeah, Patrick Gleason cover, yep. Uh, this is, I'm not sure what book this is, but it's got Doom 2099 on there. It says Omega number one. But like I said, I love 2099 stuff, so I will be keeping that for the 2099 collection. And then let's just get these last couple out. Get this box out of the way. Hopefully you guys are having a great week. I truly appreciate any time spent with me. Nice, Superman, Leviathan, Rising. Rising? Uh, DC Universe, that's dope. It's like a thicker trade one. But again, haven't seen that before, so definitely keeping that one just to build the DC box. And then a couple more. <laughs> Master Chief almost yeeted Superman there. Uh, another Marvel Tales. I got a couple of these now, so this is cool. This is issue 187, and it's a newsy as well. Would you believe Craven the Hunter? So that's cool. Add to the Spider Man box, a big bat. And then two more. We have Nottingham from Mad Cave. Not familiar with that, but that's a dope cover. I dig that. Another indie book to check out. And then last but not least, caught that out of the corner of my eye. I need to get a stand, bro. Need to upgrade. Uh, Jason and Aaron, uh, Scalped from Vertigo. This is issue uh, number nine. Yeah, issue number nine. Not familiar with that. So boom. It's nice to always have a uh, shout out to Mark Legion of Comics. He's taught me in the game of having a couple boxes around just for in a case of emergency. So like I said, I'm sorry that Geiger uh, issue number two is not premiering today, but that will be tomorrow. It was just late, long day at work, had a few errands, and then uh, I passed out on the couch and then I woke up late. So that's on me. So this is what you're getting. Nice unboxing. Shout out to Brian LCS. Make sure you check the description. Shout out to the family. Shout out to all the comic book community. I love you guys to death. Any time spent truly means the world to me. Really trying to kind of formulate a nice little plan going forward with the year. I know we got a couple cons coming up, so look forward to that. This Sunday, my Sunday live stream is a 50-50 at the moment. I know I mentioned it before, but I'm just touching on it again. Uh, I'm going to Fantastic Con, it's in Toledo. It's a little bit of a smaller con, but uh, I got free tickets, so I'm gonna go check it out, spend the day there. And uh, if I get back in time, we'll do the stream, but I'm not gonna rush myself. So we'll see how we go. But if not, there'll be definitely some footage for there, so look out for that. So I hope you guys have a great week. Like I said, I got a video dropping Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for you guys just to make up for missing today. So uh, I like to keep myself in check and uh, hold myself accountable. 
So I love you guys to death. Any time spent truly means the world to me. You guys are like family, stay legendary. And as always, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Thank you.